Hi everyone and welcome to Aruba, an island in the Caribbean Sea just off the coast of Venezuela and a beautiful place for both nature and culture. Before we talk about the transportation in Aruba, let's talk a little bit about the political makeup of this chain of islands known as the Netherlands Antilles. St. Eustatius, Saba, and St. Martin are located near the U.S. territory of Puerto Rico, while Aruba, Curaçao, and Bonaire are located close to the South American coast. Now, the current political situation of the Netherlands Antilles dates back to the year 2010. Basically, there is one overarching kingdom of the Netherlands that is made up of four countries. The largest country, of course, is European the Netherlands, of which St. Estatius, Saba, and Bonaire are a part of, basically having a similar status to a Dutch city. Aruba, Curaçao, and St. Martin are their own separate countries, but are within the kingdom of the Netherlands. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about transportation. The primary means of public transport in Aruba is the national bus company called Arubas. But there is one way to travel by rail. Today we're going to talk about trams in Aruba. If you love train travel, hit that subscribe button. We upload at least once a week and this way you won't miss any of our content. You can also join our community on Patreon. Your support gives you access to cool features such as early video releases. And finally, follow us on our social media, Instagram and TikTok. We're currently in the depot for the trams and the first thing you'll notice about these vehicles is there are no windows. Guess you don't really need that with the consistent summer temperatures of Aruba. The next thing to notice is that two of the vehicles out of four are double-decker. Now the tram system in Aruba, or should I say tram line, doesn't really serve any transport corridors. In fact, if you look at this map, you'll notice that it's a very short line. It was opened in 2012 as a tourist attraction, a fun way to go down the main streets of the capital city, Oranjestad. The first stop on the line is located in a turning loop in the city's port of call. Now perhaps the most impressive feature of these vehicles isn't their layout, it is that they require no overhead lines but are still completely emissions free. They run on a combination of battery power and hydrogen fuel cells. That's not to say every aspect of the line is modern though. Manually operated switches are necessary for loops as well as a short section of double track where each direction runs down a separate street. I think this may be the first time we've ever featured any hydrogen vehicles on the channel. To make our day complete, the drivers let Bear ring the bell of the tram. There we go.
King Willem Alexander and Queen Maxima standing proud, their family name the same as the color of the vehicle we are currently on. Thanks for watching this video about the Aruba tram system. We definitely want to go back and ride this again. It is such a fun and relaxing experience. Subscribe to Trains Are Awesome for more train content around the world just like this, and we'll see you next time.